obviously just a blowout year for NVIDIA on the AI trade. What are you expecting from this report? Okay, so what we're expecting from this report, we're going to be really looking at the uh, U.S. restriction on selling to China. That's going to be the biggest risk we see in this report. And we're going to be listening to see what's going to be the strategic plan to deal with that. Right now, uh, NVIDIA is selling chips that have uh, performance, lower performance, to not uh, get into the restrictions. You know, what's going to be their plan going forward? That's going to be what we're going to be looking for in this report. All right, so you're already eyeing risk. So give me a sense. Looking at a stock that's up almost 250% year to date, big gains. If you're hearing something when it comes to those China restrictions that you don't like or any softness in demand, is now the time to profit take and maybe trim this position? Well, what we will be, we are buyers of the company because, as you said, the uh, prices went up, you know, 240%. But what we look at, when we look at valuation, we compare uh, NVIDIA to other semiconductor companies. Now, right now, their valuation is about in the bottom quartile based off free cash flow yield being less than 1%. But we also look at profitability. They are producing 28 cents in free cash flow for every $1 of invested capital. And lastly, expectations. The forward profit margin is 45%. So this still is a company that we are a buy on. All right, so you mentioned the valuation. Uh, NVIDIA, according to our data, trades at 33 times forward earnings. But I want to make sure I'm catching something you're saying right here. So if there's weakness in the report, whether it's on risk from China restrictions or something else, you're saying you're a buyer on that weakness? We are, because we're looking at the long term. Because what... NVIDIA has been able to do with their agility of their leadership team, uh, led by Jensen Wong, they have been able to survive 30 years in this industry going from PC, internet, mobile computing, and now AI. They also have a significant uh, investment in research and development. They're spending about 25% of their revenue uh, into research and development compared to the industry average of 15%, almost 10% greater. So. And then lastly, they're building off their success of their gaming technology chips, their data center chips, and accelerating computing chips. So they are really building on their success. So we see this as just, once again, short term, long term, we're seeing this as a buy because they're going to make an impact in the uh, dominance in the AI um, industry.